Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. I am Amlan Das. Today, I will discuss about types of superconductors. Okay. Based on their behavior in an external magnetic field, that is how strictly they follow Meissner effect. Superconductors are classified into two categories. First is type 1 superconductor or soft superconductor and second is type 2 superconductor or hard superconductor. We first discuss type 1 superconductor. Okay. Now superconductors that exhibit complete Meissner effect are known as type 1 superconductor. Okay. Now to explain this type of superconductor we first discuss magnetization graph that is intensity of magnetization versus magnetic field graph okay now here along x axis we plot magnetic field h and along y axis we plot intensity of magnetization m okay here actually we plot minus m okay here we will see that if we increase the magnetic field magnetization increases and at a particular value of magnetic field which is called critical field hc magnetization becomes abruptly zero okay so for type 1 superconductor we will see that with increasing magnetic field magnetization increases up to a particular value of magnetic field then magnetization becomes abruptly zero so this is magnetization graph for type 1 superconductor okay now here up to the critical field hc this type of superconductors has superconducting state and after that it abruptly changes to normal state okay so this is superconducting state and this is normal state okay so up to critical field hc magnetic flux does not penetrate into the superconductor and after hc magnetic flux penetrates into the superconductor so up to the critical field hc this type of superconductor follows Meissner effect strictly okay so this is type 1 superconductor so we can say that in type 1 superconductor there are two states one is superconducting state and another is normal state okay now this type 1 superconductor loses the superconductivity property at very low magnetic field and the value of mag critical magnetic field hc for this type of material is very low about 0.1 tesla okay and since this type 1 superconductor loses the magnetic loses the superconductivity property at very low magnetic field this type 1 superconductors are also called soft superconductor okay and due to low critical field they have very limited applications now the examples of type 1 superconductors are aluminium zinc etc that is metals okay so this is type 1 superconductor now we discuss about type 2 superconductor okay type 2 superconductors are those which do not strictly follow Meissner effect now to explain type 2 superconductor we draw magnetization graph now here also along x axis we plot magnetic field h and along y axis we plot intensity of magnetization m okay here we will see that if we increase the magnetic field magnetization increases up to a particular value of magnetic field which is denoted as hc1 okay so if we increase the magnetic field magnetization increases up to a particular value of magnetic field which is denoted as 
HC1 and this critical field HC1 is called lower critical field. Now after HC1 intensity of magnetization decreases and at a particular value of magnetic field which is called denoted as HC2 intensity of magnetization becomes zero. This critical field HC2 at which magnetization becomes zero is called upper critical field. Okay. So in type 2 superconductor there are two critical fields. One is HC1 and this is called up lower critical field and another is HC2 and it is called upper critical field. Okay. Now up to the critical field HC1 uh, this type of material shows perfect diamagnetism okay up to the critical field HC1 magnetic flux does not penetrate into the superconductor and up to HC1 uh, this type of material is in superconducting state after HC1 magnetic flux starts to penetrate and the penetration increases until further HC2 is reached. Okay. So between HC1 and HC2, it is a mixed state or vortex state. So between HC1 and HC2, it is a mixture of uh, superconducting state and normal state. Okay. Now above HC2, magnetic flux fully penetrates into the superconductor. Okay. That is flux penetration is complete and the material is in the normal state. Okay. So in type 2, so we can say that in type 2 superconductor, there are three states. Up to HC1, this is superconducting state. Between HC1 and HC2, it is a mixed state or vortex state and above HC2, it is normal state okay so this is superconducting state this is mixed state and this is normal state three states now here upper critical field may be very high hundreds of tesla or more most of the superconducting alloys like cupric oxide comes under type 2 superconductor okay now since large magnetic field is required to destroy their superconducting state and to bring them in normal state this type of superconductors are also called hard superconductor okay since large magnetic field is required to destroy their superconducting state this type of superconductors are also called hard superconductors okay and they have wider range of practical applications for example, they are they can be used to produce superconducting wire to develop high magnetic field. Okay. So this is type 2 superconductor. Thus we discuss type 1 superconductor and type 2 superconductor. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.